In a little under a month from today, on August 2nd, the Treasury Department warns the U.S. won't be able to pay its bills, money to pay interest on loans from other countries, money to pay Social Security checks, Medicare bills, and so on. Now, since America's founding 235 years ago tomorrow, our government has run up a debt of $14.3 trillion. And every few years, Congress has voted to raise the limit on that debt. But this year, it's different. Many congressional Republicans say, enough, cut up the credit card and start dealing with the consequences. It's a compelling argument. So much debt seems downright irresponsible, right? Well, the problem is that the global economic system depends in large part on borrowing and the ability to pay it back. 